What's up, my beautiful nieces and my handsome nephews, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic -y ass clowns. Oscar told me to tell y'all that he will be back in two more days. He'll be back on, on Monday. What's today? Today, Friday. He'll be back on Monday. Okay, I just want to let you know, so... Just make sure you put in the comments where you want him to come and pick up your karmic ass client. If you don't put it in the car in the in the comments, he ain't gonna know where to go. He's just gonna be randomly picking up karmics. Okay, so if he don't come to your state, so put in the comments the place where you want your karmic partner to be picked up, their energy. Okay. So divine feminine, divine masculine already got your cards pulled out here. And I've been sitting here meditating over these cards and, and getting different scenarios, okay? It's going to be different for everybody, but the overall energy is somebody's ex. Now, Divine Feminine, I don't, I, I know you guys don't like hearing when it comes to your person's ex, if it's their, their ex-wife, their ex-baby mama, their ex-girlfriend, their ex-side piece. Y'all don't be wanting to hear it. You say you don't give a fuck. But when I, I pulled out the cards... The first card that came out, somebody could be dealing with the Scorpio death energy out here in reverse. So it's somebody resisting the end. Now, when I when I started, you know, as I pulled the cards, this is why I like to have them laid out. Because when you're basically, when you're shuffling and then you're pulling one card at a time, you're going to get different energies and you'll be all over the place. So i rather lay the cards out. And then be able to tell you what I actually see at one time instead of me going all over the place, pulling different cards, changing the energy up and shit. I got all the energy. But when I started this reading, it's it's I got the energy. Somebody, you know, don't want it to be over. Somebody is resisting to change. Somebody is resisting the end. Someone is is creating obstacles because they don't want something to end. Okay? Now, um, this is all over a knight of swords. Okay? A knight of swords energy is someone who's who's who who's fast. He's driven to succeed. Um, but he won't make impulsive decisions and he won't allow himself to be in an energy where he can't focus. Okay? Now, Whoever this this Knight of Swords is, sometimes I look at him, you know, a lot of the readings, he come out and he comes out as the player type, you know, quick, come hit it and quit it and, and, and go. Don't want no real relationship, but want the benefits of a relationship type of energy, but don't want to, you know, um, be, what's the word, committed like a player, okay? Now, whoever this Knight of Swords is, he done been in jail, okay? And, you know, I was saying, okay, this this could be the Divine Feminine's man, this could be your masculine, whoever he is to you. He don't, you know, I'm saying he don't want it to be over with you. This is what, as I'm laying the cards out, he don't want it to be over with you. He's causing obstacles and delays in your life. Okay. Um, with the Ace of Wands, it's, it's a lot of sexual energy. And, and then there's the energy of someone getting over a broken heart. Somebody having a miscarriage. And the lovers out here. Gemini energy. So with the, the lovers out here and death. That's that Scorpio and Gemini. Somebody don't want it to be over. And it's it's a lot to do with sexual energy. So then when I, I went to pick the, the deck up to put a rubber band around the deck, the last card didn't, I didn't get the last card. So I left that card and I went to, to put the rubber band around the card, around the deck. And this who was left. This is the karmic ex, or this could be you. This is in this deck, she's known as 
woman number two. So she could be, this could be, I always say, okay, if that's woman number two, she's the ex or she's the, the, the third party. Okay. But if this is his ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, whoever she is, <clears throat> she's, she's, she's broken hearted. And I know y'all don't be wanting to hear about the, the karmic. This could be a karmic. She, it, it, it's like, she's not a, a, a evil karmic. She's just like, so far what I see, she's just a, um, his ex and she's broken hearted. Okay. And she's looking at the fact, I, I feel like when this masculine was in jail, she was there for him. Um, for some of you, she, this karmic energy could have got pregnant by somebody while this masculine was in jail and she had a, she, she terminated the pregnancy or had a miscarriage. Um, and I don't think it was his baby. Now, if it is his baby for somebody, it, it may be, but what she's looking at that she was down for this masculine. This may be your energy, divine feminine. You may have been down for your masculine while he was locked up in jail. You may have had a miscarriage. You may have been pregnant by him. Okay. You may have even cheated on this masculine while he was in jail. All because he broke your heart. So it's different for everybody, but somebody don't want something, something to end. Okay. Somebody don't want something to end. And somebody is, is, don't have no concern. Oh, okay. I got it. Somebody, whoever, somebody is in jail, right? You could have found out that you're, you're pregnant. You was pregnant in jail. Why this person was in jail. Or somebody could have been pregnant why a masculine was in jail and could have had a miscarriage and the masculine in jail, he's not, he's not showing no concern. He don't care. Okay. So that can be different for everybody. Divine feminine. It could be you had a miscarriage while your masculine was in jail and he didn't act like he gave a fuck. Or this could be the ex-wife, the karmic ex. And he ain't, you know, she could have had a miscarriage. It's definitely a miscarriage out here. Somebody thought they was going to have a new beginning, but it, it, when it comes to a child. And see, also what I'm seeing, if, if it was a miscarriage, to me, when you have a miscarriage, that's the most high God doing that. That's, that's my own opinion. Because it's something about the person that you had that child with. Or it's not the right time for you to have a child with that person. It may be things going on that you're unaware of. Some may say, oh, well, I, I, we got, we have kids together. Yeah, you may have kids together with him. He may have kids with somebody else that you may be unaware of. I don't know. I'm just saying, when you have a miscarriage, that's this is what I think myself. When you have a when you have a miscarriage, okay, I put it this way: when you have a miscarriage and you're with a karmic partner, someone who was cheating on you, manipulating you, abusing you in some sort of way, and you had that miscarriage, that was God the Most High allowing that to happen. That's what I feel. Okay, because if you had had the baby, if he was being abusive, if he was neglecting you, if he was abandoning you in the relationship, imagine how he will ab abandon the you and the baby. So this is why somebody had a miscarriage. Okay, so don't feel like, you know, I mean, I'm not telling you to cry or be hurt, but if it was by a motherfucker that was doing you dirty, cheating on you, and you found out you was pregnant and you had a miscarriage, Thank the most God high. Thank the most God high. Thank God the most high. Yeah. 
So some you you may be looking at this that you you was down for this person while they was in jail. You was in love with this person, but they could have been a player. Oh. Unexpected income in reverse. This person could have been, you know, um, you could have been giving them money while they in prison. Paying. And did this divine feminine, this is this you that you was down for this person? You had their back while they was in jail and then they got out. And Let's see what this... Because I'm getting the feeling that this person, you was down for them while they was in jail. And you were sending them money, food, putting stuff on their books and shit. And then when they got out, whatever money they had, they was spending it on somebody else. I don't know. That's what That's the energy I'm feeling. And this broke your heart. see this is a feminine energy right here now this could be the ex or this could be you this is imprisonment right here so she's looking at this prison you see how she's looking see how she's looking at somebody in jail she could be waiting for somebody to get out of jail to have sex with him. She's looking at that she was with this person while they was in prison. She could be looking at that she had a miscarriage. This is the miscarriage card. Okay. She's looking at the, the intimacy, the sex between her and this person in jail. And she's looking at how he broke her heart. Okay. She's looking at all of that shit. And how he wasn't concerned in the relationship. I didn't put it back in the deck, but she's looking at that. How he wasn't concerned that she had a miscarriage. Um, this could be uh, someone who's on the outside of your relationship, divine feminine, with you and your masculine. This masculine could be with you, and and this if this is his ex, maybe he not caring if she. If she uh had a had a miscarriage and that could have broke her heart that that he didn't care that she lost a baby with him. Something about a family. She could have wanted a family. Or for some of you divine feminines energy, um, your person may not be given to you because they could be given to their family. We have a, a, a mature, immature woman in the family. Somebody could be dealing with the immature woman at court, having something to do with court. And we have poverty out here. Somebody could be getting karma or getting judgment. So she's looking at jail, that she was with this person while he was in jail, and how she had a miscarriage. This could be you, Divine Feminine, and you could have had a miscarriage, suffer from a miscarriage by this person, and they act like they didn't care. You could have stopped sending money to them when they, they act like they didn't care about what happened to you. Yeah, if this is your energy, or this Karmic Feminine did this, um, he wasn't concerned about... You losing the baby, you ain't concerned about his monkey ass being hungry. That's what the fuck. And now he trying to say you're being immature. If you're if, if you're being immature, it's because he started it. <laughs> I don't know who heard that, but I just heard that. <laughs> he started it, so you may be acting immature to him, or he shit, he may treat you like a baby like a kid and so you acting like a kid I don't know 
But somebody somebody said he started it. <laughs> yeah. So this could be you, Divine Feminine. Why don't someone want it to end? Why is someone resistant to change? Wow. The great fortune. Either someone looks at you as a great fortune. You could have a great fortune. Some money or something. Um, you could be abundant. Wealthy. Um, and it don't always have to mean financially. You could be just... Uh, you can be materialistically, material, um, abundant. You could be spiritually abundant. But that's why somebody don't want something in my nose. Keep it. I know that's the spirit because it started up here like somebody is touching my nose. Maybe my mom, my mom passed away um, last month on the 17th. And we're going to be funeralizing her on the uh, 27th in, in seven more days. Um, yeah, but this this it is something, a great fortune, why somebody don't want something to eat. The main man in reverse. He don't, it's like whoever this person is, if this, this, if this is a masculine energy... Um, with the main man in reverse, that's like you not being the main person. Like they got somebody else. But that's the, the crazy thing. This masculine, he has his ex or his baby mama or something. Ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, ex-side piece. Um, that could have had a, a miscarriage or you could have had the miscarriage. But he, uh, he ain't your main man no more. That's the way he looking at it. Even though he a player, he ain't, it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, that's what you're saying. He a player, he ain't your main man. So you may be talking to somebody else other than him, Divine Feminine. He may be in jail and you may have moved on with somebody else while he in jail. Something is different for everybody. Take it, I don't know. I'm just reading the cards. We have poverty out here. Something be, can be significant to March 7th, the month of March, June 21st. I see 29.29 out here. Something can be significant to the 29th of the month, 2009. Somebody don't want to change. Yeah, they don't they don't want to end it. They don't want you to they don't want they want to be your main man, but they ain't. And they can't be your main man because they got somebody else. A baby mama or an ex or somebody. Or they don't want you to change this person. It looks like they're they're just either they're frustrated or they're here to create obstacles in your life or something. They're they're here to Keep you from growing, from progressing, moving forward. They don't want it to end. You possibly have to. You're purging yourself from this person. In despair. You're not in despair. You're you're not suffering from like a job loss or financial problems, money problems. That's not your energy. The relationship between you and this person then go nowhere. It's sunk. That ship sunk. It sailed away or something. I believe it sunk. It didn't fly nowhere. It sunk. This is like a relationship ending and being over and done. And possibly you could have ended this relationship with this person. Um, they got sentenced to jail. Yeah, the judge judge sentenced them to jail. 
And if they cheated, it's possibly when they come out of jail, they'll be in poverty. Yeah. So that's what I'm getting. They they don't want it to be over. Their ex is here. Arguments and fights, competition, five of swords. It could have something to do <clears throat> they with some sort of revenge. They could be having regrets. There was a lot of arguments and fights between you and this person, or there's a lot of arguments and fights between them and their karmic. All because this this is the karmic energy is trying to create delays from this person for your from your for your person. They don't want the relationship to be over. They don't want it to end. They don't want to change. Or this could be your energy towards your person, or your energy your person's energy towards you. We have the divine masculine that then came out. Clarify the masculine. The messenger energy. Clarify the messenger. Seven of Wands in reverse. Somebody is not defending themselves or they can't defend themselves possibly against this baby mama. Why is the Seven of Wands in reverse? King of Cups in reverse. Your person could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Scorpio out here. <clears throat> somebody don't want something in, but somebody is being selfish, withholding their energy, being emotionally manipulative. This is why he can't stand up to him for himself when it comes to this karmic ex, I guess. Because she knows how to emotionally manipulate him. She, oh, she, and somebody, she's a queen of swords. Clarify this Queen of Swords. So this is this is your person's ex that don't don't. It's like they won't let him go. I don't understand that. Yeah, keeping him trapped in jail. That's crazy. This be this should be making me mad because of the simple fact that why would you want to be with keep somebody trapped that don't want to be with you? If they showing to you and proving to you that they don't want to be with you, let they ass go. That's what be like flipping me out with these cards. I'd be like, damn, all these energies, these women just don't be willing to let these men go. And these men don't be willing to let these women go. It's like they'd rather be in a, in a, in, be in a relationship where they're being cheated on. They'll call it an open relationship and all of that type of shit. Swapping energies, fucking around with different people, not being committed. That's karmic. That's karmic shit. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Oh. And somebody is in a relationship, like in a loveless relationship. Whoever this this King of Cups is, he ain't showing no love. A King of Cups in reverse is a, a selfish motherfucker. Somebody who ain't going to show you no love. You ain't going to know how they feel. No emotions or nothing. Mm -mm. You and I are going to get nothing. And if you hurt or you sick, they don't give a fuck. No, no emotions. The cups are emotions. But this king of cups, he is like... He's not standing up to... Whoever the ex is. Or he, you could be this queen of swords, divine feminine. You may be cussing him out. But I feel I feel more or less this is this is his ex, unless you the ex. Okay. He's 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 you know in the eight of swords energy when it comes to her. And he can't stand up to for himself because she don't want him to eat want at the end. And the reason she don't want it to end because he's a fucking divine masculine. 
some of y'all say, how is he a divine masculine if he's a player? Because a, a divine masculine is the energy that you carry. You can be a karmic yesterday and be a divine masculine today, the way I see it. Because if you're in a fucked up energy yesterday, not giving a shit about somebody, um, being greedy and stingy and money hungry, um, lying and manipulating, then the next day, all those qualities are the qualities of the kings in reverse. So you can be a karmic one day. This is the way I think. Ain't nobody told me this. This is the way I feel. As the more, you know, I learn about Tarot. So these kings are, are they're in, and they got their crowns knocked off. Okay? You can be a karmic to, to today and then tomorrow. Straighten your crown up. Treat your woman right. Do so, And then go back to a karmic. That's the whole thing. It's the energy. And the energy is fluent. So that's what I mean, you know, because some of y'all be like, well, that's a karma. Yeah, one day he could be in a divine masculine energy. This just like this king of cups. He's in reverse right now. But tomorrow he can be upright. Okay. Tomorrow he can be loving, compassionate, caring, nurturing, giving her time and energy and all of that. But it's the reason why he's in reverse. And that's he don't give a fuck. Okay? That's how it is. She may not be cussing him out and stuff, but she said she's cutthroat. And she's judgmental. And she gives him direct communication on what she wants. Now that could be you, Divine Feminine, Queen of Swords. But somebody is feeling helpless and hopeless. And this Divine Masculine... The messenger is the, the, the counterpart to the high priestess. That's the high priest, the divine master. Carrying all the energies of all four kings and the emperor upright, right? So if he's in a king of cups in reverse, that means he's, he's carrying all the energies of the other kings so far. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to find all of the kings and the emperor. And then we're going to see about this mask. Where are the kings? The happily ever after. Okay, the king of swords is upright. He's, he tell, he's telling the truth. Okay. There is a queen of swords energy in reverse around this is a whole or a thought energy, steal your man type of energy, flirt at your man type of energy. The emperor is upright. Okay, see? Let's see. He's holding in his emotions. See, whoever he's with, she's a dark priestess. Okay. King of Wands upright. Okay, where's the King of Pentacles? King of Pentacles in reverse. So let me explain this. This is a divine masculine. And he holds the energy of all the kings. But right about now, you may say, He's not in the, in the divine masculine because he's in reverse as the king of pentacles. That don't mean that he's not a divine masculine because he's in reverse. It means that he's not um, sharing no money with her. He's being stingy and selfish with his money and his, his, his love and affection. Okay. He may still be trying to fuck on her with the king of wands up, right? I'm just saying. The emperor, Aries energy, upright. And the king of swords upright so the only thing he's out of place is is the king of cups he's not showing no emotions and the emperor i mean in the king of pentacles so he ain't showing no emotions towards this person and he's not giving her no money that could be why her heart is broken okay yeah 
There can be a lot of arguments and fights. He can be in the king of, when he's in the king of um, source energy, he's spitting some true facts to her or telling her the truth. Or you could be telling your person the truth. This could be your energy. Take it where it resonates. Okay? If I say he, it could be a she. But again, somebody don't want change. Somebody is is out of... Out, this is just... <laughs> it's again telling me somebody don't want change. Somebody is happy that somebody is not ghosting them. But there is a breakup out here. Okay? Somebody is learning from failure that they can't subdue this master. They're trying to negotiate with them because whoever this is, it was a long-term investment, but they're getting karma. We have the Ten of Cups out here. That's a happily ever after, a divine love. But somebody was being deceptive or sneaky, lying about something, um, lying about them being free. Now this person is thinking about you because you are they wish come true. Okay. Maybe your patience has ran out with this person and you can't tolerate them. They didn't treat you like you was the star energy. Someone who brings you renewed hope, faith, hope and faith, and a um a sense that you're truly blessed by the universe, possibly because they was dealing with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Um you could be that Queen of Wands in reverse, divine feminine. It don't mean that you out there hoeing around. To me, when the Queen of Wands is in reverse, she's someone who's who's not she ain't talking to this person she's holding all of her sexual energy back she's not giving it to him okay you you're not giving it to him because you don't want him to suck the life out of you you're not obligated to him yeah because he was possibly still dealing with with um his ex you're not allowing him to burn you out and some of you i feel like you're not because you know your your karma and shit that affects your finances so somebody is at a Ten of Pentacles right now. And the, the Ten of Wands is right up under it. That's something come to an end. Ten Ten is ending. Yeah. But you're not letting this person burn you out. Because when you have, you know, when you sex have sex with them you, and they getting karma, then you'll start losing money. And this is somebody who you, you know, um, four cups reverse. You, you couldn't make this person happy. They weren't satisfied. You were sweet, caring, and compassionate towards this person, and they didn't want to change. If they had a third party, if this person was in, if they was with this other ex or whoever, that shit is over. Yep. They're, all, they're off um, with the thirst for knowledge, a new way of communicating, a joyous a, a joyous. Um, accomplishment. Somebody is is embracing an accomplishment by uniting with somebody. They could be uniting with you, Divine Feminine, but you maybe have withdrew your energy from this person, which has their judgment clouded. But their judgment shouldn't be clouded. They 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 it ain't clouded. They know why you why you ghosting them. They know why you ain't waiting around on them no more. Yeah, put the hangman in reverse. Because they, they, you know, this person, they probably put a lot of doubt in your mind when it comes to you and them and this other person. You could have been telling them that that person is emotionally immature and they're creating blockages. And yeah, if they're if they're um, emotionally immature, they're, this is why this person don't want it to be over. To create blockages. Because they see this person wants to start a new journey with the fool out here with you. Somebody may read cards have future plans with you and whatever they was planning they was working hard they ain't working no hard no more because it's a it's a meaningful relationship or a meaningful connection between you and this person and this is this baby mama in reverse the empress in reverse she's this you know this is a baby mama ex or somebody a mother energy i don't know maybe it's mama shit they was juggling you with but they didn't because they didn't want you to walk away. But some secrets came out. You didn't have all the answers. Spirit is saying the time is right. Be possessive over yourself, over your things. Be stingy. It's time to be stingy because you've been giving too much. Yeah, you haven't been treating yourself. It's time for you to stop giving to this person or whoever. If you're giving to other people, Spirit says start being stingy. Okay, you you. You've been treating other people, taking other people, getting stuff done for them. Treat yourself. 
make plans to put in the effort in yourself. Because somebody out there is trying to do, send some confusion spells, trying to block, you know, block communication between you and this person. And whoever they are, they don't have no regrets for it. And that's why they ask going to get karma. And you're about to be publicly re recognized for something. Progress, self-confidence, public recognition, six of wands, five of wands. Conflict, arguments. The devil. So your person could have been holding in his emotions, being um, not showing no love, not being caring towards you. And that's because they were being held against their will with whoever this ex is. Yeah. They wounded and shit. Queen of Pentacles. Somebody has, um, somebody is hot tempered, rebellious, giving and receiving, party celebrations. Somebody hasn't gotten over. Some hurtful words they said. This masculine, he probably didn't get over the hurtful words that this dark priestess, she keep coming out in reverse. So this ain't your energy, divine feminine. If it is your energy, you're just not talking to your person. You're not being, you know, manipulative or nothing like that. You're just not saying that. You're in no communication with them. But see, if this is this other energy that's the dark feminine, she, she makes this a routine of whoever this masculine want to start with or have a new beginning with. She come in just to slow him down. Chariot in reverse. And, but see, there was some sort of painful ending, a big old argument, because possibly he wants a two of cups, okay, with somebody else. And this is a missed opportunity for her, but she don't want to let him go. She's nothing but a stalemate and bring a lot of confusion with the two of swords in reverse. Overloading this masculine. Masculine, be careful what you wish for. Now you're overwhelmed by the choices that you made with the seven of cups in reverse. Anxiety, stress, nine of swords, nightmares and shit. And that's all because she don't want to end it. There's a lot of arguments and fights between him and her. That's what's so freaking crazy. I don't, I ain't no way I'm going to be, I did that shit when I was um, 22, you know, um, arguing with my baby daddy and all of that shit. Um, walking up and down the streets late at night trying to catch him, find, catch him and into shit with other females and I knew he was out there doing it. I don't know why the fuck I stayed with him. It was just, that just a waste of my time. And it's like he kept, he kept cheating around and, and he, he got himself tied to a witch that gave him some shit that he can't get rid of. Yeah. And I'm like, thank God I was, that was, my son by him is 30. So that's, that's a done deal. But yeah, um, this, this is somebody you don't, you don't need to even be dealing with this person because, um, they have somebody around them that don't want to let them go. And they being bullied, basically. This may be, you may want to watch the video that I, I put up the other day, yesterday or day before about um, this some Norbit shit. A woman made, she made her, her masculine take off the condom. He didn't want to get her pregnant. She made him take the condom off. Cut the, the condom off. She's basically bullying him. So you may want to check that video out. And I'll see you in the next read. Peace out.